Namaste everyone, welcome back to Zesty Nimbu. This is Shri Rekha. The beginning of this year, 2022, I had visited Tiruvannamalai, Arunachalam. And when I was there, I also visited Raman Ashramam. We stayed overnight at Andhra Ashramam and from there we went to the Raman Ashramam. In this video, I share my experiences of visiting the Raman Ashramam. Please have a look at it and I'll see you at the end of the video with our Sanskrit word of the day. Hello everyone, good morning. This is Shri Rekha. We stayed overnight at Andhra Ashramam, Arunachalam. So, this is a very beautiful area which is called the Ramana Nagar. And uh, just following this road and the other side of this road, uh, we have Ramana Ashramam. Morning everyone. Today we are at Andhra Ashramam. We had a night stay uh, here in Tiruvannamalai at Andhra Ashramam. As you can see, there is a very beautiful area where uh, there are so many trees and it's a very cozy and a very rustic sort of an environment. This road leads to Ramana Ashramam actually. On the other side of the road, we have Ramana Ashramam. We'll be going to Ramana Ashramam uh, today. Uh, so, as you can see, and in the morning we had, uh, you know, the arrival of a lot of peacocks here. It was wonderful. So, just wanted to show you around in the Ramana Ashramam, who started Ramana Ashramam and all. So actually, <coughs> the person who started Ramana Ashramam was Sadhguru Sri Nanagaru. So he had a darshan of uh, Bhagwan uh, Ramana Maharshi in his dream, who said that uh, he has a bigger purpose uh, and he has to do something better. Sadhguru ji used to actually hug people and shower his love, but then Bhagwan said uh, he had bigger purpose in life and hence he has to you know come to Arunachalam and uh, do something big. So, in 1994, uh, this Andhra Ashramam was started. Can you hear the peacock uh, <laughs> uh, sound? So, peacocks are shouting here. So, in 1994, this, Ramana Ash uh, this Andhra Ashramam was started by Sri Nanagaru. So, we will just go inside the office and see the pictures of uh, Ramana Maharshi and uh, Sri Nanagaru. So, he is uh, Bhagwan Ramana Maharshi and uh, both of them, the different pictures of uh, Sri Nanagaru, Sadhguru Nanagaru, who actually started this uh, Ramana, this Andhra Ashramam. So, he took Samadhi, he actually passed away in 2017, on December 29th, which was a Vaikuntha Ekadashi then. So, at that time he passed away, but uh, till that time he used to look over his affairs and actually there is another Ananda Ashramam one kilometer from here which actually hosts a, a retreat for foreigners in January and February. So the only only foreigners come there but uh, in the remaining time of the year many people do come and uh, stay here overnight and you know uh, partake in the darshan of Ramana Maharshi and Sadhguru Nanagaru. So this is the beautiful uh, place uh, Ananda Ashramam. So now we will be going towards Ramana Ashramam where we'll also record, if possible, uh, the ashrama itself. So, till then, I'll see you. Namaste. So, this is one of the beautiful places uh, in Andhra ashrama itself. As you can see, there's a beautiful peacock and uh, the house. Very rustic, very beautiful place. The peacocks just happily dance here. They come here, they enjoy. It's so amazing. So I just wanted to show you that this rustic uh, place. So if you guys are planning to come to Tiruvannamalai, do call up the ashram, Andhra Ashramam, and uh, see if there is any availability of room. Please stay over here because uh, it's very, very, very near to Ramana Ashramam. You can always walk to that place and have darshan of uh, Bhagwan and uh, you can enjoy the serene environment so yeah going towards uh, Ramana Ashram, you can see it's so close. So this is the road which leads, uh, this is called Ramana Nagar. So here all the uh, 
beautiful trees and Anandar Ashramam is situated. You can see the houses as well. Um, so, so you can see the Giri. Do you see the Giri on top there? That's the Thiruvannamalai Giri. Giri Pradakshina, Giri Prakara, that is what we do. So we actually are going uh, around this Giri. So every Kartika Pornami, a lamp is lit here. Uh, and it is celebrated in a very grand manner. We will see that. So this is, uh, so as you can see the gate there, that is Ramana Ashramam. So the stall is there, the flower stall is there. So this is uh, Ramana Ashramam, which is so very near. I don't think the cars are allowed. You can see Ramana Ashramam. So it's that walkable from Andhra Ashramam. So if you are planning to stay in Tiruvannamalai, do contact Andhra Ashramam. Even rooms are available in Ramana Ashramam, but only for devotees. So we are at Ramana Ashramam today. So as I told you, it's very close by to Andhra Ashramam. So we'll just go in and see how Ramana Ashramam looks. Ramana Ashramam is basically uh, Bhagwan Sri Ramana Maharshi had uh, start, I mean, uh, on his honor, his devotee started with Ramana Ashramam. He used to do meditation here. Ramana Maharshi is a great soul who used to stay in Tiruvannamalai. Uh, we'll see more about Ramana Maharshi as we go in. So this is Ramana Ashramam. So, so let's just see uh, the beautiful environment, uh, environment here. The atmosphere is so serene, so beautiful. As you can see, it gives you a proper feel of, you know, doing meditation, doing something for God, doing something for yourself with this kind of environment. Who doesn't want to do anything, right? Uh, so beautiful. So here, because of COVID norms and all, you need to be mandatorily checked for temperature. Uh, everybody would be doing that. So you'll be sanitized and then you'll be asked to go. So we'll see further about Ramana Maharshi as we go in. I'll show you everything about Ramana Maharshi. Uh, so We've entered Ramana, uh, Ramana Ashram, but uh, I thought before I speak further, I just wanted to understand a little more about that person. I know a little bit, but uh, to understand more, I purchased this book from uh, Ramana Ashram Book Depot. So there are a lot of books about uh, Sri Bhagwan and uh, his, his teachings, his talks, all have been recorded in various books. So you can go inside and always uh, check out those books. So I purchased this uh, short life sketch about uh, Bhagwan Ramana Maharshi. So I'll read this through and then we'll go inside the Ramana, Ramana Ashram and the, have other Darshan. <coughs> so we had a beautiful Darshan as in we were in the Ashram of Ramana Maharshi. We are not uh, taking any pictures inside. Uh, so as you can see this is the surrounding place. Uh, this is one of the meditation halls that is this is all the surrounding area of uh, the ashram. That is one more meditation hall where one of the entries towards the Ramana Ashram. You go inside and you see the, the Murti of Bhagwan, Sri Ramana Maharshi, and there's a small temple of uh, Aruna Chala Shiva as well. So, so, in the serene environment, uh, you would obviously want to meditate. So, I had this uh, privilege of uh, meditating uh, in uh, the ashram. So Bhagwan Maharshi, Ramana Maharshi always talked about I, who am I. So this body is uh, is very temporary, right? It's the self which is more permanent. So when you come to this kind of beautiful, serene environment, you obviously want to concentrate on your inner self. So when you meditate, you always talk about the uh, inner, uh, you, you think about the inner self, inner spirit. So this beautiful environment obviously pushes you in that direction meditating in this uh, great place so this has a uh, energy of its own you know when you come outside come from come to this place from outside there's a lot of chaos outside this this beautiful place only has calmness your 
your whole body becomes very calm and you are uh, you are you know going to a trance like place in your own inner self and uh, it's a wonderful place uh, you know this is a must visit if you come ever come to tiruvannamalai so the going to the temple is one aspect but coming to ramana ashramam is one more aspect um, the place itself is so beautiful and serene it uh, helps you you know progressing further in your life journey so i will end the video here uh, about ramana ashramam so thank you so much so just before exiting at 10 o'clock every day here they serve lunch so we are partaking the blessings of the bhagwan so we just had lunch where we had curd rice some some another rice and uh, pongal so this kind of offering is being given to all the devotees and anybody who comes here for uh, food so they are not turned away uh, and uh, it's a great blessing that we are having the food here so so if you do come to ramana ashramam do meditate have the darshan of bhagwan buy some book if you want to know what, more about the uh, bhagwan's teaching and finally do have the prasadam which has been offered by ramana ashramam devotees thank you so much i hope you have liked today's video the sanskrit word of the day is ajah ajah means goat and meshah meshah is she question of the day what is that one profound thought that we associate with bhagwan ramana maharshi and the rishi of the week is guru brahaspati he is the deva guru so let me know what you know in the comment section i'll see you all in the next video until then namaste